Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Why would you choose a John Cooper Works or a 595? Let's have a chat and find out. Well, for both of these cars, they look awesome. Check it out. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you. But I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. I'd rather spend my precious time. Chasing somebody who loves me too. On a previous video, I compared these two uh, on costs, on performance, but actually, when you come in to buy one of these two, you can't really compare. So let's start with the mini. If you hadn't run away, every time I asked you stay, you would sleep right next to me tonight. But you didn't want me, all you wanted was a game to play. So yes, why start with the John Cooper Works? Well, the variation of price between the John Cooper Works and the 595 is pretty vast. And so I doubt, I mean, I may be wrong, but I doubt people in looking at a John Cooper Works are also looking at a 595. I mean, they should do, it's a great car and it would provide a good saving. Um, but that's kind of why I'm gonna split them and see why you would choose this one and then why you would choose one of those. So for starters, the John Cooper Works. Let's keep this short and sweet. Number one, I think you're gonna buy a John Cooper Works because of the way it looks. It's so important to like the way a hot hatch looks and I think this looks great. Um, obviously, I think it's quite important to tastefully spec the car or make sure you choose a used car with good spec, which is what I did. Um, so red brake calipers, red wing mirrors, red roof, red outline to the black stripes. Um, obviously you've got the red at the front of the grille. Um, that kind of thing ties in a car. I really think a car should have a flow start from the front you can see there's a bit of a, a design all the way back obviously you've got slightly bigger wheels as well which help um, and obviously those John Cooper work brakes with the little the little John Cooper logo give that a little, a little bit of drama to it which I quite like it even standing there I think it looks great and I think it looks already ready to uh, to race around so number two you're buying a John Cooper works because you want a small car still um, you might want a bit of power a bit of fun but you still want a small car to chuck into uh, the shops into a train station easy to drive easy to park you want that kind of thing from a car and the mini yes it has got a lot lot bigger since the original 19 what 50s 60s car um, and then obviously when mini took it over uh, back in what very early 2000s uh, it's definitely got bigger since that original gen uh, mini however it's still yes I think it is still a small car uh, although a lot of people would say a mini is not a mini anymore I'll address that actually so many people say a mini isn't a mini anymore and I get what they're saying because they're literally thinking Mini stood for Mini. And yeah, it might have done, I don't actually know, but it might have stood for Mini, a Mini car. But now, I feel that Mini is the brand. It's the name. It's just the, the ethos and the excitement and the idea of the car rather than the actual li literal word Mini. So when you have a look at a Mini, I think it has the same flow, the same shapes, the same excitement, and the same, the same drama as Minis always have done, even though it's a bigger car. So... That's why I think when people say minis aren't mini anymore, yeah, but who cares? So number three and why you might buy a John Cooper Works is that engine. Let's have a little look. So someone commented that this car has got a twin screw something. But when it says twin power, I think that's what they meant. By that, I guess in the turbo it has twin screws which pumps more air into the engine bigger bang faster car perfect i like that and they've done very very well to develop that engine it's a two litre 228 brake horsepower and it is really really good it's front wheel drive so there's quite a bit of power going to those wheels and yes minis have always dealt with a bit of torque steer it's not lacking in this car but actually the turbo lag is lacking there is there is a very very little amount of turbo lag so that's very very good touching on the power i know some people will say two liter nowadays uh, four cylinder two liters uh, will have 300 horsepower even more there'll be 0 60 in five seconds or less or even four seconds less i'm sure there is probably one or two and so is that enough power is it actually as much power as it could be Potentially not. Potentially they could have had more power in it. However, 
It goes through the front wheels. It's a small car. I think it's. I think it's absolutely fine. I know the Mini GP3 will be coming out at the end of the year or, or next year, whenever it's coming out. It'll have more power, but it'll be lighter and it'll be a little bit better set up to handle that power. At the moment, I think this is just enough power to have fun, abuse, throw around, chuck into a corner, and it will rely on you uh, to get out the other side because it's fine. It's, it's absolutely fine. So. That's enough power, and that's probably the other reason why you would buy a John Cooper Works. That speed, that 0-60 time. So those are the reasons why I think you would buy a John Cooper Works. Um, it's great to look at, it's practical, it's small, and it's powerful. Um, if you agree with those, comment below and let me know that you agree. But if you don't, and there are other things that you think is reason why you would buy the car, then please comment below. Make, make sure you, you let us all know. Um, so if, for example, people are looking for a John Cooper Works or just a Mini, they know a little bit more about it. Oh, I didn't touch on the inside. That is a really particular topic of mine because I do love the interiors of minis. Feel free to check out my other videos. Um, I will put a pop in a, a link in the description um, so you have a little a little look. But um yeah I only touched on the outside to be honest because that's I think the, the driving factors. The inside is just a bonus. It's so so cool. Um, but now let's turn our attention to the 595. Yeah he sets my body in motion he just he knows how to turn things up and he knows what gets me going Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? So, number one of why you might buy a 595 is price. I don't really like to bang on about price because it's sometimes a little bit boring and it detracts from the actual mechanics and the enjoyment of the car, but it is quite an inexpensive car for what you get. You get a lot of the heritage of the the uh, the 595, you get the styling, you get the power, the speed, the excitement for quite a lot less than, for example, you do on the John Cooper Works. They're, different, they're a little bit different leagues uh, in how they're built, how they're put together and how they kind of drive and feel, but for hot hatch and cheap fun, this is such a good car to go for. So that may be one of the choices why you might go for one. Number two is an easy one. Let me just run out, run out here. Oh, okay. Number two is the size. It's quite tricky to kind of tell between these two now, but this car is super, super small. Um, I kind of feel like it's probably more, actually I don't know the length, but it feels, for me at least it feels like an earlier generation Mini. It's, it's a lot smaller. I do feel like it's a little bit uh, easier to uh, to pop in lots of spaces. I say that, the turning circle isn't as, say, small as the Mini, I think. It doesn't, it doesn't quite do the full lock as much as the, uh, the Mini does. So maybe it's not quite as easy to bark in that respect, but it is a small car. It's, it feels really small when you're driving in town and when you're on country roads, it's nice to kind of nip in and out. So uh, number two, the size. And number three, uh, one of those. Yes, you get heritage with this car. So if you don't know much about a bar, which I actually didn't know that much, uh, especially the 595 all that kind of stuff. I know they're the newer stuff, but uh, years and years ago, that badge would have been found on a bit more of their sporty cars. And yes, the John Cooper works. You can definitely see that heritage going back towards uh, John Cooper and all the, the tuning of the cars. But it's nice that you get that bit of heritage with these cars. Um, also, you get to own a Fiat a bath, that kind of sexy Italian kind of words that used to be, it used to be a byword of um, unreliability, bad build quality, and just generally not that great cars. However, with the sporty stuff, it did mean a lot of fun. And I'm happy to report, it is a lot of fun. It definitely deserves to wear those badges, uh, and especially that little scorpion that you can see on basically everywhere, center the wheels, on the side of the car at the back, uh, inside, and the, fi the 595, obviously just denoting the uh, the slightly higher model range. Obviously then you get the 695 at the top, but yeah, you get a bit of heritage of this car, which I really, really like. Um, so number three, heritage. Now, I could have, yes, I could have said number one, like the Mini, styling. I do think it looks really, really cool, but there are other aspects I really like. Again, this is all personal for me, totally personal. So if you don't agree with me, let me know. Let me know what you like about these two cars and why you would buy a John Cooper Works and a 595. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just been a bit of fun, really. Uh, I thought I'd get outside and have a look and just answer a few questions that I've seen pop up uh, on the internet, on my pages, on, on my YouTube. So um, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment what you do like, what you don't like, and why you would buy one of the other cars. And please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, obviously, I want to do more of these kind of cars. I really want to get into more cars and, and do more head-to-heads. It's actually really, really good fun. So um, yeah, please subscribe. See future videos. I got the time.